guys, I'm Anna, and today I'm going to be styling four different types of outfits that are inspired by Gryffindor House, and I, I kind of like that the new Fantastic Beasts is out, I'm channeling that energy, and I think it, there is a fun way to get clothes that you already own and make outfits that have a Gryffindor feel but don't look like a costume or like something that school children would wear. And so basically I'm taking the F essence of what a Gryffindor is. They are the jocks, the cool kids, the kids that don't try too hard, but people just seem to like and respect. I feel like a soccer jersey over a turtleneck with some jeans is a very Gryffindor outfit and that's what I'm starting with. But basically I'm gonna do a few different like t-shirt and jeans looks. I'm gonna do shorts and like t-shirt looks and then two different types of dresses. But there's not really like a red and yellow theme. There's not a school children's theme. There's just, in my opinion, there's a Gryffindor wouldn't try too hard. So there'd be a little bit of like grunge, hand-me-down worn t-shirts. And then, you know, maybe they'd be the most likely to wear like streetwear. But there is an essence of preppiness because they all went to like a private school. So I think definitely different types of blazers and, and that play into this. Um, so yeah, we'll just start with the jeans. For the next kind of spring and summer look, I've got this really comfortable kind of worn out tennis t-shirt paired with a seersucker blazer and some jeans. I feel like this is a really casual outfit and it like definitely doesn't look like you're trying too hard but it's also put together it has like a little bit of a preppy vibe but not in your face it's not trying to be preppy and then I also for all these outfits I'm gonna have pretty minimal makeup and jewelry because I don't feel like Gryffindor's would spend that much time. I think they're more natural, but I definitely think that they would have an Apple Watch because most of them are pretty athletic. For this next outfit, I've got a casual t-shirt and it's made out of an Oxford button-up type material, but it's just looks like a regular t-shirt, like a cotton t-shirt, if that makes sense. And it could probably use an iron, but we'll just ignore that because I'm gonna be putting a blazer over it. And this is a tennis style blazer. And I feel like this is like really comfortable and maybe the most casual of all the blazers. So it's kind of perfect for just like going to the pub or meeting up with friends where you don't want to look like you've tried too hard or get, be too fancy basically. So those are the three looks with jeans. Come here, Milky. Everybody, meet my fantastic beast. <laughs> All right. So I've got an extremely worn out vintage basketball t-shirt in the maroon uh, Gryffindor colors. And then I also happen to have an authentic <laughs> bitch magnet cap. And I feel like this is another outfit I'd be perfectly happy to run errands in. I think the torn jeans really make it like not acceptable for any kind of formal situation, but kind of perfectly toned down the gray blazer. I don't know why, but I feel like basically all the Hogwarts students would have lots of blazers and just wear them with almost everything. I don't know if you agree, but you let me know. But I also feel like Gryffindors of all the hats, they would definitely like baseball hats the most and they'd be the least likely to wear like a beret or something. And um, for all these outfits, I would probably just pair some type of stinker, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm filming in my house. Um, but yeah, 
What do you think of this outfit? I think this is actually my favorite. This is the one that I really like wearing if I'm like going to get groceries and pick up dry cleaning and that type of thing. But I will show you the next shorts and t-shirt outfit wearing a soccer jersey but with shorts instead of jeans it's like a really good casual outfit i think and definitely if you're like you like sports and you watch them a lot and you're athletic you would definitely wear these i think i've also definitely worn them with biker shorts um and like of course i could go into the whole like active wear thing but most of you already know how to style leggings and like i feel like actually picking outfits that are real outfits that you wear to places is kind of more valuable for the sake of this video what do you think of the shorts looks i like them definitely the one with the maroon shirt the jeans and the gray blazer is my favorite of all these outfits but every once in a while a gryffindor has to go somewhere where they need to wear a dress so I basically think they would have two mainstays in their wardrobe. I think they would have a t-shirt dress and I think they would have a little black dress. And I think that they would definitely pick ones that are form flattering and show off all the time they spend at the gym. This is my favorite little black dress. I feel like I can wear it any, anywhere, basically any time of year. It's flattering. It's like this like stretchy material so it doesn't wrinkle if you're in the car for too long or anything like that. And for this dress, I would normally wear ankle booties or riding boots with it. Not really sneakers, cause I tend to wear this when I need to go somewhere more formal. But the next dress is a t-shirt dress and I sure would wear sneakers. Like I love sneakers. I hate heels. I think they're like medieval torture devices that they invented in the year 1400 and we've just been wearing them ever since. This next dress is like a t-shirt dress. And I think you can dress it down by wearing sneakers and like a tennis cap. And then it's really cute for like, again, running errands. Like I could definitely go to Target and be happy in this. Or you could take the ball cap off, maybe wear a headband and some nicer shoes. And, you know, you can't go to like a wedding, but you could go out to dinner in it. And it's just like really comfy. It looks good. And I think the Gryffindor chick is, the, the key here is that she's not trying too hard. She's just living her life and wearing things that accommodate the activities that she's doing, not planning too hard to like look stylish or, or whatever. But I would love to know your thoughts. I would love to know if you liked this video, what you thought of it. And I have already formed some ideas for other house houses. So if you like this video, let me know. I would love to make one for Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin. This is very fun for me. So I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for staying and watching this whole video and all of my little diatribes. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day. Bye.